Hello everyone, we're back. Roxy was begging me to give her attention, so I gave it to her. <laughs> so it's been a long time since I've made a recipe video, which makes me very sad. Makes Roxy really sad as well. <laughs> and honestly, it's because we have had a bit of a weird year. I think all of us have, have had a bit of a weird year and it's yeah. thrown off. <sighs> Roxy. <laughs> Apparently she wants to go out. You've got to be patient. You're not the ru ruler of the roost, Missy. It's been a bit of a weird year for everyone, I think, and it threw us off, and we just haven't been making recipe videos, so we took a month off, you may have noticed, or you may not have, and we've kind of got our energy back, and I'm really excited to be filming in our own kitchen again, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So we've basically come up with an idea of a series of how to make veg taste good, because I know so many people think vegetables are gross. So this week we're starting with broccoli. This is a very lovely leafy broccoli. We've got three delicious recipes, which will all be on my website as always. And I hope you enjoy them and I hope it makes you... So I'm having to hold her because she is making lots of noise. Um, <laughs> All the recipes are on my website as usual and really excitingly I am making a new ebook. I've been working on it for a few months now and I can't wait for it to come out so stay tuned for that. It should come out in September if all things go well. So yeah, check out all the recipes. Let me know if it's converted you to liking broccoli if you try one of them and let me know what vegetable you want me to make recipes for next. I'm so excited to be back and I love you all. Enjoy the recipes. So with this recipe, I wanted to show you a smart way of using up the stalk of a broccoli because pesto you can put in a jar in the fridge and use it whenever you want. So if you are cooking with broccoli and you really don't like eating the stalk, then save the stalk, put it in the fridge and or cook it with the meal that you're cooking and you can make a pesto out of it so you're not putting any food to waste. A lot of this is from our garden. Got a little pot of basil. That's why it looks a bit holy. I feel like an animal's got on it. An owl? An animal. Like a little insect. Why would insect. an owl be? <laughs> like a little insect. Yeah. He's had a little nibble. Hungry caterpillar. Yeah, hungry caterpillar. That's purely organic for you. Homemade pesto is so much better than store-bought pesto, and it's so quick. Yum! So you could definitely double this recipe to make more pesto, and you could always freeze some of it for when you wanted or you could just put it in the fridge to have with sandwiches or other meals that week. And also with the final recipe, I'm gonna be serving it with that roasted broccoli, but it would taste so good with artichokes, with tomatoes, with mushrooms, or courgette, like any vegetable that you enjoy or that's in season would go really, really well with this. And also the same principle would apply 
if you were to use another green vegetable like courgette you could use um, extra courgette or the ends of courgettes for this or you could put spinach or you know the bit and bits of kale that you don't like or just whatever to use up extra waste or whatever the season is of, of vegetables that are in season does that make any sense yes <laughs> you get what i mean but it's just kind of an idea I'm so desperate to eat this, I'm so hungry. These are massive pastas. What is it called? Pakeri? I think so, yeah. I've never tried this kind of pasta before and I'm worried this is gonna be very difficult to eat on camera. Please excuse me opening my mouth ridiculously wide. Mmm, like I said, putting artichokes in here or tomatoes or something would be so good, but what a fresh, yummy meal. This is so delicious and you can save the pesto for lots of other meals. Yummy. so creamy so yummy I want to eat this whole pan you know when you want to just sit over the pan and just eat all of it because it's so comforting <laughs> so good and also don't worry about cross-contamination it's only me and I'll eating it Buzzy what have you got are you asking for something what do you want what do you think she wants It's that time of day where she's asking to go on a WALK. We've got more work to do, Han. Sorry. <sighs> it's a hard life. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
fancy pants mushrooms. You don't have to use fancy pants mushrooms. I just fancied using fancy pants mushrooms. <laughs> Careful. Oh? There's not mushroom left. <laughs> there isn't mushroom left. I don't know much about mushrooms. Mm, no. Along with the fancy pants mushrooms, we use some fancy pants broccoli. This is tender stem and purple sprouting broccoli. Um, more expensive usually, often comes in plastic. However, it does taste delicious. And if you're someone who really doesn't like normal broccoli, try this and you might find that you actually really like it because it's, I don't know, it just feels a bit more um, posh. What do you think of Alex as someone who doesn't like broccoli? It's okay. Would you prefer this to normal broccoli? Probably. Because it just ta it tastes just, is it just tastes better, doesn't it? Yes. It's just got more flavour to it, and I feel like just the shape of it as well, because texture is a real part of, yeah. I think a lot of people um, hate for broccoli. The stem is nicer. Yeah, the stem, it kind of has an asparagus kind of vibe. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it's a good way to kind of enjoy broccoli in um, a different way if you're not a fan of the other type. <laughs> Pro. Ready for the fancy pants broth? Uh, <laughs> ready for the fancy pants mushrooms. Yummy. Also, I'm going to put some liquid smoke in here. This gives it kind of like a barbecue-y, meaty texture, flavour. Um, but if you don't have this, just leave it out. It's no problem. This is very hot. <laughs> so if you're not one for spicy food, leave out the chili or just do like a little bit of chili. We put a whole chili in, which I think was a bit too much because it was a hot chili. Um, and I also feel like the mushrooms are like stealing the show, aren't they Al? Mm. He tried something, he was like, oh my God, these mushrooms. Mm. But tender stem broccoli, like I said. Mm. So yummy. I'm just gonna continue to eat it. Straight out of the wok. This recipe, I feel like I've shared lots of stir fries because they're the food that I eat the most regularly, both of us, don't we? We have it once a week at least. I often have it for lunch because it's so healthy. You can use such a variety of vegetables. You can make it really simply. I used to think you had to buy the stir fry sauces and packets you know the sort of meal deal things and in, in the supermarket and it's really as simple as just having your base of onion garlic ginger chili and having some soy sauce the liquid smoke makes it yummy having toppings like lime and coriander and i do the same thing most times and just mix it up with the um vegetables tofu would be delicious in here and you've got yourself an incredibly delicious and also really really healthy and nutritious meal and broccoli is the best. Yum. So that's it for <laughs> the recipes. Roxy is very heavy and very needy and she wants to go on a walk, don't you little Roxy? Yeah. Send me a photo if you recreate any of these recipes and tag me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram and make sure you're subscribed, like the video and give it a thumbs up for Roxy. See you in my next one, bye. Oh no.